I think the biggest chunk of work that we still to do is is about stigma. Uh, we know that we can now live with HIV just as healthy as other people um, that do not have HIV, but uh, the stigma is still very real to a lot of people. For some reason, a disease which is associated with sex, blood, all kinds of things still arouses some fear amongst the general community. And I think there still is a sense that this is a disease that is a disease of um, marginalised people or groups of people who aren't as valued in our society. I, I, mean, I remember um, years ago when uh, in a previous relationship where I um, was going to stay with my partner's family and they he insisted I tell them I was HIV positive, even though you know, there was absolutely no risk to them at all. They refused to have us stay in the house. And you know, even when we went for dinner at their place and there was this sort of real subtle moving of cutlery and plates and glasses. Yeah. And you just go, stigma's alive and well. Yeah. It really is. Dating and relationships was until a few years ago problematic. And then one day I sort of had this revelation that, um, okay, yeah, I'm HIV positive, but it's this much of me. And you know what? If you don't like it, it's your problem, not mine. There's the expression, un undetectable equals untransmissible. So undetectable means that if you are on your HIV medications and you're taking them regularly under supervision of the doctor, then you do not have a detectable viral load. That means you cannot transmit HIV to another person when you're having sex with them. The whole you equals you message hasn't gone out to our communities and so I think one of the main ways to do that is making sure that, um, that there's funding available for Aboriginal people living with HIV to be able to go back in and talk to the communities. If they have a better understanding around HIV they'll be more supportive and they won't be, um, the individual living with HIV won't feel so stigmatised. I was virally suppressed within six weeks of being diagnosed which is which is revolutionary, um, which is incredible and I feel so blessed to be in that position. When the uh, community knowledge, if you like, became scientific knowledge, for me personally that was an incredible relief because it meant that in my sexual life I didn't have to worry about transmitting HIV to anybody else. Uh, that was quite liberating. It was almost as liberating as when I started telling people I was gay, quite frankly, um, because uh, I realised I could not hurt anybody else. I hope that we will come to a point where uh, HIV is treated as it should be and that people living with HIV are treated with the dignity and the respect and the love that they deserve as any person deserves.